Extreme performance with Dimensity 8100. Ready to live extreme. Live extreme with the Redmi K50i 5G. Stream captures with 64 megapixel triple camera deco. Extreme smoothness with 144 hertz refresh rate.
the world Hello everyone, uh, I am Raghu Reddy and I am thrilled to raise the curtains for the most extreme launch from the Redmi Stable today. But before we start talking about the launch, let me talk about July. July has been a special month. It's been a month full of celebrations for us. And I have a quick question for all the fans over here. Since you are true fans, can any of you guess what's the reason for the celebration for in July? Got it. I think that's right. Xiaomi turned, Xiaomi India turned eight <laughs> in July of this year. Eight years of staying true to our core philosophy of delivering innovation for everyone. And as part of eight year anniversary celebrations, we had exciting surprises lined up all through the month. Let's take a look. Well, you see, CyberDog is unlike any other and it is just our first step into the vast world of robotics. Our next street from the house of Xiaomi is the all-new Xiaomi 360 home security camera 2i. It is a thoughtfully designed product that fits in beautifully in all the modern spaces. Look around the lawn. Do you see anything different? It is the all-new Xiaomi Smart Standing Fan 2. This is the brand new Xiaomi Smart Speaker with IR control. Sleek, compact but powerful and most importantly, it speaks for itself. So as part of the celebrations in July, we had, we've already showcased or launched four new products. The first one, of course, was the Xiaomi CyberDog, our first foray into the world of robotics. Of course, the CyberDog is not yet available for sale in India, but of course, it can be experienced at select Mi homes across the country. Next up, we launched the Xiaomi Smart Standing Fan 2, designed with the dual blade technology for simulating natural breeze experience for all round cooling. And then, of course, the third product was the Xiaomi 360 degree home security camera 2i, a perfect addition for all round security 
not just for your homes, but also for small and medium business setups like retail outlets and restaurants. This, of course, has been made possible by the all new Xiaomi Camera Viewer app for Windows, laptops, and desktops, which allows you to view up to nine screens on your Windows, laptop, or desktop. And lastly, we also launched the Xiaomi Smart Speaker powered by Google Assistant for your smart home. And not just that, it also comes with IR control. Now, a lot of you over here are already familiar with the IR blaster capability that you've seen on the Xiaomi and the Redmi phones for years, which means that this smart speaker not just controls your smart devices, but can also control other devices like fans, ACs, etc., that can be controlled through IR. And of course, uh, the Xiaomi smart speaker comes at an exciting price of only rupees 4,999. That's, of course, what's been done till now. Today, we are ready to bring you two more surprises. But before we jump to the surprises, we would like to share a very important milestone that we achieved this year. Very happy to share that we've shipped 200 million. Very happy to share that we've shipped 200 million plus smartphones in India since our inception in July of 2014, which means that we've been enabling dreams and aspirations of 20 crore plus Indians. And thanks to their trust, we've been the number one smartphone brand in the country since Q3 of 2017. We are humbled by the love and affection that we've received by you. And here's a short video encapsulating our journey. If you go to a new place, there is a question that comes to you. आप हो कहां से कभी ये भी पूछ लिया करो कि भाई जा कहां रहे हो क्या करना चाहते हो चले जा रहे हैं बिना रुके हर एक सपने को साकार करने कुछ सपने आपके कुछ हमारे लेकिन जा रहे हैं पूरा करने एक सपना भारत का तो जब हम वहां पहुंचे ये मत पूछिए कि हम कहां से आए हैं ये पूछिए कि हम जा कहां रहे हैं और ऐसे ही हम पहुंचे हैं करोड़ों भारतीय दिलों में और आप ही ने तो पहुंचाया है हमें भारत के नंबर वन स्मार्टफोन की ऊंचाई तक This has been our journey until now, but now it's time to look at the future. As you're all aware, 5G is the next big thing, the next big evolution, and we are at the cusp of 5G, with the auctions being scheduled for later this month. And as Xiaomi and Redmi, we want to ensure that our users are able to experience 5G as soon as it becomes a reality, and hopefully democratize it just like the way we did with 4G. Since we're talking about 5G, you would be happy to know that till date, we've launched 15 5G smartphones. This is across the Xiaomi and the Redmi portfolio, cutting across different relevant price points. We believe 5G will not only lead to a new era of interconnected devices, but will also strengthen India's digital, digital journey and growth, and to talk more about the next India-ready 5G device, let me welcome Sumit Sonal on stage. All right, thank you guys. Thank you for the warm introduction. Okay, my name is Sumit Sonal. I lead marketing for Xiaomi India, and I am here to talk about something very, very special. So are you guys ready for the most extreme launch of 2022? Me fans. Right here, give me a cheer. Me fans, back there, give me a cheer. All right. I know we have a bunch of social people here, and I know that you will be covering the event. So what our social team has done, they have curated these hashtags. Now, what they are also doing is that if you use these hashtags, and if you cover the event today, they, you will also have the chance to win the latest 5G smartphone from us. 
but not just that you must have seen a huge car a huge monster car which is standing outside right monster is our energy drink partner today and you also get to win goodies directly from monster so use these hashtags and keep tweeting keep streaming from this launch event all right now jumping directly to the event i am here to talk about the redmi brand and quite honestly you know our vision in the country right our vision has been that innovation or technological innovation is for everyone right and because redmi has been at the forefront of delivering this technology there are bunch of smartphones which we have launched in the last few years now remember those good old times that whenever you attended a xiaomi or a redmi event you always had a surprise gift waiting for you so i can promise you on this stage that we have a surprise gift waiting for everyone in this room just stay tuned for that because you will be super super excited now let's talk about the redmi series and there are multiple products which are under this series but let me talk about a specific series number 1 is the a series right this is something which we call the desh ka smartphone for a millions for millions of indians raghu spoke about the 200 million number right for millions of indians this has been the first smartphone experience this is where their journey of technological innovation actually starts let's talk about the number series which you see right over here the number series is something which is very very unique this is the first place where great benefits like flagship multitasking like great cameras come at a very good price point and that's the number series and that's the success of number series you must have seen redmi 8 9 and now 10 this series which is right over here the note series needs no introduction back in 2014 when we launched the redmi note 4g it became a rage in the market it became a benchmark in the market and even till this date Redmi Note series remains a benchmark for every brand out there for every user out there but we are not here to talk about the Redmi Note series the A series the number series we are here to talk about the legendary the flagship killer the K series and when when we launched this back in 2019 everybody completely lost their minds why because at this particular price point there was not a phone which gave you that flagship performance and to continue this legacy today we are delivering the most powerful redmi ever seen in our india portfolio so me fans are you ready to live extreme introducing the brand new redmi k50i 5G. All right, you must have heard a lot of things about this great product, right? Our social media team has been talking a lot about this particular product, and today we'll be covering a bunch of things. We'll talk about extreme cameras. We'll talk about the extreme display. We'll talk about the extreme design. But let me first give you the first look of the Redmi K50i right here, right now. Manish, can I have? the stealth black all right this is the first color which we are introducing this is called the stealth black what's beautiful about this is you see this beautiful matte finish right here a brand new camera deco looks minimal looks very very premium take a closer look and if you want to experience this you can visit the experience zone after this event so that you can have your own hands on this particular product let me introduce the second color and quite honestly let me tell you one thing that during the pandemic times a lot of people were not taking risks but when you are with redmi k series when you are with the redmi brand it's about taking new risks now we know you we know you as fans we know your lifestyle and to exactly match that lifestyle and no other brand has done this by the way to exactly match your lifestyle i'm introducing the brand new color which is called quick silver <laughs> people don't take risk and the idea is to live extreme with the redmi k50i this is a brand new color in the entire portfolio nowhere else to be seen the third color is something which is very mesmerizing let me quickly give you the first view of phantom blue now phantom blue is quite honestly a very mesmerizing color now let me show you 
the moment light, light refracts from this particular surface, you will see different colors. Can you see that? And that's the beauty, and that's the mesmerization which I'm talking about. So these are the three different colors, three brand new colors which we are introducing. Let me just give you a quick color look on these phones. So these are the three brand new colors which we are introducing today. All right. Thank you, Manish. OK, so we are here to talk about extreme performance. And you have been hearing a lot about this, so let me quickly deep dive into it. But there is a, there's a myth which I want to bust before I talk about extreme performance. You know, there is this question right here. What does a flagship processor do? And a lot of people only relate flagship performance to gaming. Correct? But while you get extreme flagship gaming from a flagship phone, there are a bunch of people who are not gamers. They are only looking at great multitasking. They want no jitters, they don't want any lags. They are looking just at a great flagship multitasking experience. And that is also what a flagship processor does. But you are also wanting to have that great camera experience. A flagship processor, always remember, comes with a flagship ISP, right? A flagship image signal processor, delivering that great flagship image quality with that particular flagship processor. And the fourth thing, which you need to remember is great battery efficiency. Most of the flagship processors are based on a, nano, on a manufacturing process. You know about that, right? Now, the better the flagship, the better battery efficiency which you can achieve from your smartphone. Now, I've spoken a lot about this. I have set the context. So let me quickly show you what a Redmi K50i is capable of. Right here, you see five different processors. Right? And I will go one by one. Snapdragon 778G is a, a processor which we have used last year. Respectable processor, respectable numbers, which you can see right there, but not flagship. Not flagship at all. Dimensity 1300, which you are seeing on the Nord 2T. Again, respectable numbers, not flagship. You can see those numbers. It only scores 601 on Antutu version 9. Let's look at the next one, which is Snapdragon 870. And I'm sure all you Mi fans have been hearing a lot about it in the last two months, correct? Snapdragon 870, one of the greatest processors, great thermals, sustainable performance, but again, not flagship. Now, this is where the game changes, right? Now, iPhone 13, which you are seeing right on the back, which comes with A15, four-core GPU. Right? Now, this is outside our price bracket, so don't get scared. This is outside our price bracket, but I wanted to show you this because Redmi K50i is completely going to dominate in this particular segment as well. Just look at the numbers, 782,000. The flagship processor of choice for a lot of brands last year was the Snapdragon 888, and the number is 804. Now, wait for the Redmi K50i. Redmi K50i, not only its own segment, which are the last bottom three phones, actually dominates even the other flagship phones by scoring 822,000 on Antutu version 9. And you know why is this all possible? This is all possible because of our friends at MediaTek. The Redmi K50i is powered by MediaTek Dimensity 8100, this is the flagship processor delivering that flagship performance on the Redmi K50i. Now let's look at what media, what our media friends have been saying about this flagship processor. Number one, Rajiv Makhni from NDTV says that he loved the superior performance. Note the second word, high frame rate gaming. He absolutely loved the HFR gaming. And one word, which you might see a lot being repeated on the slide is efficiency, power efficiency. So which means that it is just not that powerful, but it is also very, very, very power efficient. Now, I know that you would want to understand this better. So let me give you an internal, internal architecture view of what Dimensity 8100 is. And what I want you to do right now is I just want you to remember three things. And those are the top three things which I want you to remember. Number one. A better manufacturing process, TSMC, which is Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, five nanometer process. Now in the market, 
in the industry, we know that the TSMC process is far superior. So number one, TSMC, five nanometer process. Number two, super cores, four super cores for delivering all your games, all your renders, all your high power requirement apps, right? So you get four cores, but remember, the number is important, all clocked at 2.85 gigahertz, okay? Number three, power efficiency, or the efficiency cores are all clocked at two gigahertz. Now, why do I want you to remember this? Because I will prove a point to you right now. Look at this. On this side, what you are seeing is the internal architecture of Snapdragon 888. On this side, you are seeing the internal architecture of 8100. And this is where it changes. Just look at this. One prime core at 2.84 gigahertz, three cores, which are performance cores, at 2.4 gigahertz. Now, just having one clogged at 2.84 is not going to help you get flagship experiences, correct? You understand this, you know this. Instead of doing that one plus three structure on the 888, now Dimensity is actually doing four cores all clogged at 2.85 gigahertz. All four cores at 2.85 gigahertz instead of just 2.4. Now let me talk about some mundane tasks, and I'm calling it mundane because this is our regular habit with our phones. Mundane tasks are doom scrolling on maybe Twitter, or maybe just watching YouTube videos. So you don't need performance cores or super cores to fire at that point in time. You just need the efficiency cores. Even on the efficiency core, and look right here, ARM Cortex A55 clocked at just 1.8 gigahertz whereas even your efficiency cores on the 8100 are actually clocked at two gigahertz each. So not only great performance while you are gaming, but also great performance when you are doing your regular tasks, watching YouTube videos, just scrolling on Twitter, and much more. So this is exactly the reason, this is exactly the reason why the 8100 can easily dominate over the 888. And I wanted you to believe this. I wanted you to know this. And that's why I'm showing this to you. But you know what? Great power comes also, great performance also comes with great battery drain. Common knowledge, correct? Now, this is again important. The team led by Gautam Batra, Redmi, what he has done beautifully is that he has color coded this entire chart so that we can understand it better. Follow with me on this. The orange which you see over there is Snapdragon 888. The greens which you see is Dimensity 8100. And look at the numbers now. For example, you are just watching a video on YouTube. You consume 1.77 watt on the Dimensity 8100. But for doing the exact same task on the 888, you will consume 2.37 watt. Now this might be looking like a minimal reference, but the battery drain will be huge. Point number two, Raghu spoke about 5G. You know, video calling on 5G is soon becoming a reality. Look at the numbers here. 3.05 watt on the Dimensity 8100, whereas a 40% jump in power consumption at 4.38 watt for the same task, same performance. It's just not powerful, but it is also power efficient, and that's the point which I'm trying to make today. Now, I, I know a lot of people would want to see this. A lot of people have gotten aware of this issue called throttling, right? You are aware of this. So you know what? At Redmi, we believe in being transparent. I'm going to show you something which you will absolutely like. If you want me to repeat it, I will repeat it for you. Just take a look at this. And that's the performance. I leave it on the screen. That's the performance which you see under the ambient temperature of 40 degrees Celsius, tested for 15 minutes. Throttling is limited to a single digit number at 6%. Look at the other two. And look at the situation, which is 28% throttled and 36, 39% throttling on the 8 Gen 1. And that's the thing which I was talking about. You want sustained peak performance? Dimensity 8100 is your processor of choice. 
All right, now we know that processor is just one part of it, right? The other two components are actually the RAM and the storage. So let me talk about RAM. Now, a lot of people and a lot of brands have started to do this, that they will give you LPDDR4X uh, and, and, and just get done with it. You know why? Because consumer ko kya pata chalega, and they are not aware of what versions we have in the market. But I don't think that is the right way to do things. If you want to pair the flagship performance, if you want to deliver the flagship performance, you also need a flagship RAM to go along with it. Hence, not LPDDR4X, but LPDDR5. But there is one thing to note on the LPDDR5, and that point is very, very simple. For the very first time, on LPDDR5, there is a deep sleep mode. And I will help you understand this. Now, whenever you leave your phone, the phone goes into idle state, but your RAM is still on. Your RAM is still on because it needs to have that data stored within, it, within itself so that the moment you pick it up and the moment you press that button, it's, get, it's ready to go. But even in idle state, the RAM will continue to consume power. For the very first time, here, with LPDDR5 RAM, it moves into a deep sleep mode. The moment it goes into a deep sleep mode, the power consumption goes down by 50%, but still retains all the information which you had written on the RAM. And you also now have a power-efficient RAM technology, which is LPDDR5. Let me talk about the second part, which is UFS 3.1. Fastest processor merged with fastest RAM, merged with fastest storage. Now, one thing to note about UFS 3.1 is that it has 50% improvement in speeds when you do random read and random write. Now, as users, our behavior with our phone is absolutely random. Sometimes we go on Twitter, sometimes we, we go on YouTube, sometimes we go to the some, some, something else, right? Now, that sequencing is all random, which means that random read and random write, if it is fast, it will deliver that superior experience to you at all times. So that's about these three things. But you know what? This is already a very cool processor. You saw the throttling numbers. We wanted to add, and we wanted to take no risk. So what we did, we added an extremely big cooling solution right within your phone. By including that, what you get is, again, sustained peak performance. Whether you are in Bangalore, which is kind of cooler, whether you are in Delhi or Rajasthan, we want you to, your phone to work exactly the same way it was intended or built to deliver that performance, right? With a, such a big, huge cooling solution, you get that sustained peak performance at all times. All right, so that was all about processor, RAM, and storage. Now, this is something which is very, very important. And I wanted to talk about this. I wanted to take a minute and talk about this. We recently concluded our test in the live test environment with Geo 5G. Why was this important? This was important because before we deliver the product into your hands, and 5G will be soon rolling out, like Raghu spoke about, we wanted to test its compatibility, its interoperability across our technology and Geo's 5G network. Happy to announce, we have concluded these tests. Great, astounding results. Great 4K streaming, great 8K streaming. And I know you guys, you are already into remote gaming, cloud gaming. We tested that as well, and successful results across all three. So I can conclude here by saying that the phone which you will buy is already live tested in the test environment on Geo 5G networks. Now, your phone is working in India, absolutely fine. You are getting 5G superior speeds. What about when you go outside? Now, what, when you go outside, you get the support for 12 5G bands. All the bands supported. All the bands supported by this particular phone are mentioned right here. You wanted to take uh, pictures you can right now, but we'll also share this with you on social. The idea is that with a huge band support, and by the way, this is our first phone under the Redmi portfolio to have 12 5G band support, and that's huge for us. We wanted not to make only an India-ready 5G phone, but this is a global 5G-ready phone right here, right now. 
All right, so we spoke about all of these things. Let me quickly talk about the extreme connectivity it offers. Number one, Wi-Fi 6, which means it's future proof. Number two, you get Bluetooth 5.3 backwards compatible with all of your devices, but even the newer devices which you will own, which you will buy in the next few years, will be future compatible. Number three, and this is something special. I know me fans, and I know they love goofing around with the IR blaster. I've also heard situations where the lecture was going on and somebody switched off the TV using the Mi Remote app. So we want you to keep playing around. We want you to have fun with the device, and that's why you also see the presence of the IR blaster. All right, so quick, coming to the quick summary on performance, you get Dimensity 8100. I already showed you the performance. Nobody even comes close within the segment, even outside the segment, it can actually dethrone almost everyone when it comes to performance. You get LPDDR5 RAM, newest RAM, newer storage, which is UFS 3.1, Bluetooth 5.3, which is not available across a lot of devices, Wi-Fi 6, and 12 5G band support, which has been actually tested in the live environment. All right, talking about the second aspect, which is the extreme, extreme display. Now, we have been learning a lot from the gaming monitors. You know Xiaomi also makes gaming monitors, right? So we have been learning a lot from there, right? And what we realize is that when you give this flagship performance, that also needs to be complemented with a flagship display. So what we are introducing today is not a 60, not a 90 hertz, not a 120 hertz, but actually a 144 hertz liquid FFS display. Now, this is not an ordinary display. This is actually a 10-bit panel producing 1 billion colors. And you know what? The aspect ratio is 20.5 is to 9, which means even in the tall body design, it's very easy to hold. Number three, and I saw a lot of our media friends speaking about that how color accurate this display is. And it's very important to have that color accuracy. Now, people will not give you this number of 100% DCI-P3 compliance. Most of the brands, and how they tend to play this, is they will just write DCI-P3 compliant. They will not give you that number. But at Redmi, we got nothing to hide. You get 100% DCI-P3 compliance on the Redmi K50i. Now, I spoke about 144 hertz, but at 144 hertz, you need to realize that whenever you are pushing so much power into the display, it will also drain out battery. Now, most of the phones which have been launching in the recent market are actually not uh, adaptive. They are actually fixed frame rate, so it will go from a 60 or a 90 to 120, and that's about it. I don't think that's the right way to implement this technology. This tech is something different. This comes with seven stage adaptive sync display, which means that whatever content you throw at, that, at this particular display, it will understand its FPS, frames per second, and match the display setting to exactly have that complemented. Let me just give you a quick example. Most of the Bollywood movies which we see are actually shot at 23.9 FPS or 24 FPS. You see, 48 hertz over there, so that's the multiplication, right? 24 into 2, 48 hertz. You exactly see how the creator intended, intended it to be seen, but at the same time, you don't need to push 144 hertz for such content. You can bring down the refresh rate to 48 hertz and have the same experience, saving you battery again. So I spoke about this. 30, 48, 50, and 60. And you can see the use case scenarios. Movies, online videos, TV series. It recognizes almost every content you throw at it and will adapt the display accordingly. Look at this. Not that you can only game at 60 frames per second. You can now game at 144 hertz, 144 frames per second. Remember I told you, a flagship processor needs to get complemented by a beautiful flagship display. And this is the tech which I'm talking about. All right, number one, when you are also within the UI, right, it scrolls at 144 hertz. So very, very smooth scrolling. My team actually calls it extreme smooth scrolling, right? But the moment 
it realizes that there is a content piece, there's a video which is within the feed, it will automatically bring down the hertz to 50 hertz, which means that all of this is automatic. You don't need to touch anything. It understands whenever you are scrolling, the scroll happens at 144, but the moment it realizes there's a content playing, it will bring down the refresh rate so that it can consume and save battery. So this is what I was talking about. Extreme gaming, 144 hertz, matched to 144 frames per second. But you know why is this possible? How do you get that extreme performance to support this extreme display? It is because of this GPU, which the MediaTek team calls as Mali G610. Now this GPU is so strong and so powerful that it can actually push up to 168 hertz. But we are only pushing 144, which means that there is still headroom available in this powerful GPU to give you that superior, superior performance. Now, there are two things. When you compare it with the Dimensity 8000, you, number one, you get 20% better GPU frequency, which means better performance. But not just that, with all the AI now coming into the picture, with your games requiring it, you also get support for MediaTek Hyper Engine 5.0, which makes this GPU very, very strong for all your flagship games out there. Now, I spoke about FFS, right? And a lot of you might be thinking, what is exactly FFS? Now, you know IPS, correct? You have been hearing the term since we were kids, actually, right? Now, IPS versus FFS. Let me just quickly tell you the benefits. A new technological deployment, which is happening on this display, but it comes with its own benefits. Four benefits, and I'm not going to bore you with statistical data. I'm just going to tell you four consumer benefits which you will immediately see. Number one, IPS panels are known for a very limited viewing angle. Now, when you are buying this, when you are a young guy or a young girl buying this, you will be sharing a lot of content with your friends as well. Now, having a wider viewing angle will always give you the right way of consuming that data, no matter how many ever people are surrounding you watching that IPL match or maybe even a content piece. Number two, with a wider viewing angle, you also completely diminish this problem of lower peak brightness on IPS panels. Okay, you get a higher peak brightness, a bright and a vivid display. Talking about vivid, you also see enhanced image quality on this FFS panel. We are calling this liquid FFS panel. Liquid, why? Because it is the smoothest display in the market. And the fourth thing is, again, coming back to the same point, that this is very, very power efficient when compared to IPS. Now, I spoke about a lot in terms of the display, what are the tech, what is FFS, and everything else. But you know what? Let me talk about the content which is being shot today. Most of the content which we are watching today, whether you are watching Narcos or you're watching, you're watching The Stranger Things season four, everything has been shot using specialized equipments. You know that, right? But if your flagship phone cannot understand and decode that particular information, how good is your flagship phone? It's not, right? So exactly, to work on that and to deliver that superior content performance, we are now extending India Redmi's first Dolby Vision phone in the market. I know that a lot of you guys in this room are waiting for this tech waiting to experience this tech, and that becomes a reality. This is our first Redmi phone to come with Dolby Vision. Now, Dolby Vision has three benefits, and let me just quickly touch upon them. Number one, you see ultra vivid colors. It's already a 10-bit display panel. Now, with Dolby Vision, you see ultra vivid colors. Number two, you see better contrast ratios. The separation uh, between, for example, the darker scenes, the, the brighter scenes, is much more differentiated. You see a better contrast ratio. Number three is across the entire content, you see much more richer details. Now, to complement this beautiful display, we have stereo speakers. And mind you, we are not using the earpiece to convert that into a fake stereo sound. This is actually 
two independent symmetrical speakers, symmetrical are same size speakers, to deliver the left and the right channel. But again, that's not flagship, right? So we are also introducing not just Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Now let me talk about one thing. One flagship feature which you keep missing on all your flagship phones. One flagship feature. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> you get a 3.5 mm headphone jack on the Redmi K50i, but it is not a standard 3.5 mm jack. This is a high impedance jack to drive all your headsets, to drive all your high powered headphones. You can drive it just using the Redmi K50i. Now, great experiences, okay? Great performance, great visual quality, great audio quality needs to be com like compressed into a great format, and that format needs to give you the right tactile feedback. This phone will be in your hands 10 hours, 12 hours, sometimes 18 hours if you're living extreme, right? But even with that, you get an X-axis vibration motor to give you that right haptic feedback every time you interact with your phone. So that's all about the display, the, the touch, and how the device feels in your hand. So 144 hertz, learning from gaming monitors, one of the smoothest displays you will ever find in the market. Second thing, you get seven stage adaptive sync, which means the device is intelligent enough to understand what are the different content pieces you are throwing at, at it as a consumer, and it will adapt to it. Number three, your favorite audio jack is here, and the audio jack is a high impedance jack. Number four, you have dual stereo speakers, not the fake stereo sound, the original stereo sound which you want from your phone. Now to power all of this, I spoke about a lot of things. Great display, great processor. To power all of this, you need an extreme charging solution. Now if it was anyone else, any other brand in our shoes here, with a thermal or a power efficient processor, what they would have given you is a 4,000 mAh battery. Or if they were feeling kinder, they would have given you a 4,500 mAh battery. We are not going to do that. That's not the idea of living extreme. So you have a 5,000 80 mAh battery on the Redmi K50i. In that sleek format, you get a big battery. Here are some numbers, and I know some of you are absolutely interested on, in numbers. Here are some numbers. I will leave it on the screen for a minute, and we can move on. All right. The second thing which you get is extreme fast charging, 67 watt turbo charge. And this information, a, a lot of you guys have asked us, does it have power delivery support? Yes, it has power delivery support up to 27 watt. If you are interested in numbers further, let me show you that it can go from 0 to 50% in just 15 minutes. 15 minutes is all you take to brush, to get ready, and in 15 minutes, on a 5,000 mAh, you get 50% charge, which can easily last you for the entire day. But if you are someone who is like Sandeep, who likes seeing 100% on his phone every morning, you just have to wait for 46 minutes for it to go from 0 to 100 in just 46 minutes. <laughs> All right. There's one more thing, and I'm going to be super honest, and I think you guys will agree with me. Most of the flagship brands have started omitting the in-box charger completely. Correct? You have seen it. You have heard it. You know why are they doing it? They know our pattern as consumers. They know that we are looking at our favorite YouTubers. They know that we are reading our favorite articles from our favorite writers. They know that we are following our favorite reviewers. And they also know that they compare only the phone to the phone. They actually don't show you what's actually in the box. It's when it's only phone to phone comparison, and it's very easy for me to remove the charger altogether. Do you know how much a charger costs? 
a charger will easily cost you from 1,000 bucks to 2,000 bucks. Again, that's not the idea to live extreme because you're delivering subpar performance and subpar experience to your own customers. And we are not going to do that. So you get 67 watt turbo charger <laughs> worth 1999 right within the box itself. So that's all about charging. You get turbocharge, 67 watts, 0 to 50% 50, 50 in just 15 minutes. You get uh, dual split fast charging. That's a brand new tech which we have introduced. You get a much, much larger battery. Now, I spoke about the display. I spoke about great charging. I spoke about the flagship processor. Now, to talk more about the camera, let me bring my friend and my colleague, Sandeep Sarma, on stage, who will quickly introduce to you what this device is capable of. Thank you, Sumit. Loving the energy, guys. Are you guys ready to see the extreme camera setup on the Redmi K50i 5G? There's a lot to talk about, but I think the primary and most important thing is that along with our flagship and extreme performance, we are also giving extreme display, extreme charging, and now we're going to take a look at the extreme camera capabilities on the Redmi K50i 5G. So we have three different components that we worked upon. First one is the optics. Second is the ISP, which is MediaTek's Imagix 780 ISP, thanks to the Dimensity 8100 chipset. And lastly, we have our class-leading imaging algorithm as well. Let's take a look at the hardware first, right? So we have a 64 megapixel triple camera setup, and not just any regular 64 megapixel camera, but one that has a large sensor. And I'll talk more about the sensor size, as well as the various other aspects of the sensor very soon. Next, we have an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, and we also have a very capable macro camera. So let's take a look at sensor sizes, right? You typically have a 12 megapixel sensor, 1 by 3.2 inch sensor. This is decent in terms of the overall output, in terms of low light as well, especially, but it's not flagship grade. So most of the smartphones in this segment will bump it up to, say, a 48 megapixel with around half inch sensor size. Again, good, but not all that great. And some of the best in the segment will go all the way up to a 64 megapixel, 0.7 micron pixel size, 1 by 1.97 inch sensor size. What we are giving is the largest sensor in the segment at a size of 1 by 1.72 inches, ISOCELL GW1 sensor with 0.8 micron pixel size and 64 megapixels of resolution. So that's the hardware out of the way. What exactly is this capable of? This first shot is something I wanted to show all of you because the dynamic range that you see on this is truly unparalleled, especially in this segment. This is normally something you see only on flagship devices upwards of 50,000 rupees. Incredible dynamic range, and I'll show you some more images that will truly blow your mind in terms of what this device is capable of. This scene in Norway might seem very simple, but actually it is quite complex. Now, why is it complex? Very simple. It's overcast. It is cloudy. Most other smartphones in this segment would either go for a completely warm or a completely cool approach, but in this case, we have gone for the most natural and the most breathtaking looking image, and that's how you get the true essence of this particular scene. Moving on to this scene, which again might seem simple enough, but I'd like to focus your attention on this particular portion here, where you see the highlights and shadows are in close proximity. Now, this is very difficult to capture well, because not only are there completely different textures of the rock as well as the moss, but you see that the highlights are not blown out, and yet there's plenty of detail in the shadows as well. Moving on to this scene, every single smartphone in the segment from the competition will basically take the pastel colors that you see here on the buildings, be it pastel pink, pastel yellow, or even pastel green, bump up the saturation all the way to 100 and give you something that will look practically identical to the rider's jacket. But instead, we are giving you excellent differentiation. And like Sumit spoke about already, true colors, adaptive colors, one billion colors, all these things are something that we also wanted you to experience with the photos and videos that you captured on the device itself and not just other content that you find online. Moving on to low light images, here my favorite part to talk about is the foreground where you see on the crosswalk there's plenty of texturing and it just showcases the amount of detail it's able to capture even in low light conditions. 
However, if you think about low light situations, in this particular case, you don't see any noise. And that's because there is a noise reduction happening, but it's not overdone. Normally, most smartphones, especially in the reflection here, they would overdo this, and you would have a completely blotched yellow image there. Instead, you can see clear separation between each and every one of those lights, and you can even see the blue being there in terms of the reflection. Great separation, excellent quality, even in low light. This image also shows that very, very clean looking images. My favorite, though, is this particular scene, because as you all know, neon lights are very difficult to capture. What usually happens, right? Neon lights, if you expose for the lights, generally your shadows get underexposed. But if you expose for the shadows, there's a chance that the highlights in the neon sign are completely blown out. But thanks to the Imagic 780 ISP, as well as a clever algorithm in terms of image, we are able to capture perfectly good dynamic range in low light without overexposing or underexposing the image. Incredible looking image. Now, coming back to textures a bit, I think this statue, it, it's, it's crafted using hand, and it has a really beautiful sort of texture, which is captured really well on the Redmi K50i. But the most important thing is this is a zoomed-in image. This is the level of detail that you get with the camera. 64 megapixels of resolution. And it's not just about the resolution, right? It's also about what we do with the resolution that we have. So even higher megapixel sensors may not be able to compete with the level of detail that we get on this sensor. Two more images shot on the movie frame mode, which many of you know. Xiaomi fans, I'm sure, will know this. Cinematic looking aspect ratio, very beautiful, incredible colors, dynamic range, etc. And here, very crowded sort of scene, very busy, a lot of texture, a lot of colors, a lot of uh, fonts, a lot of you know, shadows, highlights. But every single thing is metered correctly and exposed perfectly well. Now, this would have been great if this was the primary camera. But the last two images actually were captured on the ultra-wide angle camera. So the reason that you could probably not tell the difference between the primary and ultra-wide angle camera is very simple. Three of the common drawbacks that most competitors have, color fringing, distortion at the edges, sharpness fall off at the edges is not something that you see in any of these two images. Incredible quality on the ultra-wide angle camera. Not just that, we've also ensured the consistency is maintained between the wide angle camera and the ultra-wide angle camera. This is a wide angle camera shot of a church. This is the ultra-wide angle camera. Incredible color science, incredible dynamic range. Only thing that changes is the more dramatic field of view. Next example as well. Here the phone is in, inside a shadow area. The background is in the shadow area, while the foreground is in the highlights. And here again, incredible dynamic range, incredible consistency when it comes to the color science and the overall look and feel of the images. Now, one feature that many people use, or maybe people might have tried, but not talking about often, is the director modes on Redmi as well as Xiaomi smartphones. So for this Redmi K50i 5G, we're including vlog mode, long exposure mode, as well as clone mode to help simplify the process of creating content. So you no longer need to identify or learn how to do certain processes. So for example, we take clone mode. This requires multiple bursts of photos, and then you have to sit and mask it using Photoshop and another editing tool. And you also need to know how to do this. Even for professionals, this is maybe a 10 to 15 minute task. But with this, one single click is all it takes to get you this beautiful looking effect. Similarly, we also have long exposure modes, such as neon trails, starry sky, silky water. All these things, again, transform complex editing and photo capturing processes into one single click processes. We have some tools for pro users out there, including focus peaking, which is very useful to nail the focus each and every time, and it works like a charm. We also have exposure verification, but this scene is more important because of the fast shutter. If you notice the blades on the chopper, they are perfectly still. There is no movement or motion blur. That's how fast the shutter speed is on the Redmi K50i 5G. Now, we speak a lot about the overall tuning for India, and in the past also we have mentioned that we do specific tuning to match Indian skin tones. However, this time we wanted to go a step ahead. And rather than featuring models or professionals, 
For our shoots, we also wanted to capture our own employees and our own colleagues. So here are some samples that showcase beautiful skin tones being rendered on the Redmi K50i 5G. This is Manish and Drishti from our team, and both are really good looking, but I feel the K50i manages to make them really good looking as well and capture the true essence of human emotion. We also have a portrait mode. The first one is a selfie. The second one is basically with the rear camera, excellent edge detection. Even on the portion, especially the glasses, which usually is a tough area, you'll notice that there's no accidental blurring. Edge detection is on point, great bokeh, and overall excellent portrait mode, be it with the front camera or the rear camera as well. Now I'd like to show you a quick video that showcases the video capabilities of the Redmi K50i 5G. Please take a look. So as you saw, incredible looking footage, EIS is there, we have 4K video support, slow motion as well as time lapse abilities, overall extremely good camera setup, very unconventional but gives you incredible looking results, 64 megapixel primary ISO cell GW1 sensor, 8 megapixel ultra wide, portrait mode, 4K video, uh, clone mode, bunch of different director modes to help make your process a bit simpler, slow motion as well as time lapse. Now, Recently, when we announced that Xiaomi India is turning 8, a lot of you, I think Asif himself also posted saying Mi 3 was his first device, and he still has it, and is still working. A lot of people said they had devices that are 5 years, 6 years, 8 years old, Mi 3, Redmi Note 4G, etc., and those devices were still working, and there were still some people using them as their primary devices. So that is the level of stringent quality testing that we do for each and every device, and the Redmi K50i 5G is no exception as well. To that end, we are giving you Corning Gorilla Glass 5 for protection on the display. We are also having IP53 rating for protection against dust and water. <laughs> Not just that, extreme means rigorous testing. That's why we have crush test, roller test, drop test, plug unplug test, and multiple different parameters that ensure that your Redmi K50i 5G will be good to use, and not just good to use, but rather give you the same experience that you got out of the box several years down the line as well. In order to complement the entire extremeness of the device, be it the performance or display, charging, camera, you also need an extreme software experience. That's why we are, pre we are pleased to announce that the Redmi K50i 5G comes out of the box with MIUI 13 and Android 12 out of the box. Not just that, we're also promising two years of Android updates and three years of security patches. Now, MIUI 13 has a lot of things that we can talk about, perhaps longer than what we've been speaking so far. So much are the improvements, so much are the customizations that you can go into, but we'll stick to the basic few, which are live wallpapers, a very useful feature, very, very much an eye candy that most people like. We have a sidebar feature, again, very useful, improves productivity overall. We have improved storage efficiency, improved background processing efficiency, 60% and 40% respectively, as Sumit already mentioned earlier, and we have faster processing, and compared to the already efficient battery life that you get, Again, MIUI takes that a step further, giving you 10% more battery efficiency than before. Every hour is a rush hour. Every day brings a new challenge. Goals to complete. New heights to reach.
faster than the Supreme. And all you need is to live extreme. So that was the extreme Redmi K50i 5G. Now to unveil another surprise for all you guys, I'd like to call my colleague Sumit back on stage. Check, check. All right, guys, back on the stage for to take just five minutes. Okay, you know that we have been investing a lot of time in our wearable segment, correct? Now, a bunch of you guys are also using these products, but in the last few years, in the wearable segment and in the hearable segment, we have launched three unique products under the Redmi brand. Number one is Redmi Earbuds S. Number two, the Earbuds 2C. And for our consumers, for our fans who have been wanting more, we launched the Red, uh, Redmi Earbuds 3 Pro. Now, when we started working on our next truly wireless solution, we really wanted to work very, very close with our community. As a brand, as a company, we have the support for, from such a big community that we can understand what they want and build a product based on that. Introducing our fourth version in the Realme, Redmi Buds category, and that is Redmi Buds 3 Lite. All right, whenever you define a truly wireless solution, you just want to forget about it and just have fun. And that's why our Able team has designed the tagline as that these buds are just for fun. Okay, let me talk about very, very quickly about the design. First thing which you do when you take your truly wireless solution, you want to be aware of how the design looks like. How does it fit inside your ear? But what you are most concerned of is how does it fit? You don't want to keep fiddling with it, right? So exactly to solve for that, this is the first time we are reinventing the pop and lock design. All what you have to do, pop and lock, and that's all, you are done. Don't worry about this falling out. Don't worry about this getting off while you are running or doing anything in that particular day. The second thing, the second thing which you are absolutely concerned of, whenever you are running, you are sweating, whenever you are in the gym, you are sweating, right? The second thing which you are concerned of is how durable my truly wireless solution is. I love it with all my heart. Is it durable? Yes, it is durable because even this comes with an IP rating. You get IP53 <laughs> dust and splash resistant on the new Buds 3 Lite. Okay, number three. When you insert this inside your ear, you don't want to be fixated about how heavy this is. I've seen a bunch of Jabra headphones, very, very heavy. You can't actually, it doesn't feel natural. You know what we did? Do you know what is the size or you know what is the weight of an A4 sheet? Take a guess. It's five grams. An A4 sheet is five grams. Your buds are actually just 4.04 grams. You know why this is important? This is important for it to just sit inside your ear. Don't bother you throughout the day, even if you are at it for continuously eight, nine hours. We wanted it to just sit there naturally. Second part is sound. And sound is very, very critical. Whenever you invest in a truly wireless solution, you actually invest in it for its great sound. You know what you said? As a consumer, right? In India, we love bass. We love bass. We like our music to have that particular thumb. You know what we did? We again reworked that. The bass is now getting better because we are using a dynamic driver to produce that richer bass. Now this is rich bass, and understand my words here. This is not that overwhelming bass which will completely destroy your sound stage. This is rich bass, which is subtle but yet impactful. The second thing is consistent audio quality, con consistent pairing, right? Now let's talk about, when I said pairing, let's talk about connectivity. What you see is Bluetooth 5.2. You know Bluetooth 5.2. Stable connections, extreme bit rates. You want that because you want to have that high fidelity sound. Can I show you something? Okay, this is the Buds 3 Lite. And this is how sleek this thing actually is. Now this, while might it look small, actually has 18 hours of playback built inside it. 
but I know my users, right? I know they are, they are in a hurry, right? And I know you are getting ready for school, you are already late, you are getting ready for office, you are missing your bus. You know what we did? We built fast charging within this box. You know what it can do? You know what it can do? You got 10 minutes, I'll give you 100 minutes of playback time. You got 10 minutes, I'll give you 100. All right, so sleek, matte finish, beautiful thing, right? The moment you pop this inside your ear, I want you to forget about your phone. Don't even think about your phone. You want your Google Assistant? Tap. You want to disconnect your call? Tap. You want to take calls? Tap. You want to change music? Just tap. Forget about your phone. And that's how amazing this small device is. OK, moving on to the quick summary for this particular product. So bass got better. You love bass, we'll deliver that. There is a dynamic driver producing that rich, not overwhelming bass. Number two, fast charging within the box. You get up to 18 hours of playback. Single charge, 18 hours of playback with the box, with the buds. Number three, quick touch response. Everything is on your ears. Forget about your phone. Number four, lock in. What we are calling and what I love to call is pop and lock design. Okay? Ultra lightweight, ultra sleek, and also comes with an IP rating, right? IP rating on, is on the K50i as well. The complimentary thing will have IP rating as well. Here is a quick product video which the team has prepared. I want to show you this, and then I'm going to announce something very, very, very crazy. You know why move your body? Because it just won't fall off. <laughs> okay, uh, I spoke about the surprise gift. Can I tell you something before I talk about the pricing? Actually, Raghu will talk about the pricing, but I am going to spoil his party by telling you all of this, that everyone, every fan in this particular room is getting the Redmi Buds 3 Lite. Even before, the, even before you reach home, and even before anyone lays their hands on this, me fans, you got this. All right. So that was Redmi Buds 3 Lite, brand new buds from all of us at Redmi, uh, brand new lock-in design, and many, many other cool things. Now I'm handing it over to Raghu, who will talk about the K50i pricing, the pricing for this one as well. Raghu, over to you. Thank you so much. So now, of course, uh, waiting for the most, uh, the most awaited part, which is the pricing. So we'll talk about the Bud C light. Can you guess what the price will be for the Bud C light? <laughs> Bud C light uh, will come at a price of only one triple nine. Uh, we believe it's a great deal. It's a great new product with a great fit, extremely lightweight will stay comfortable in the years for long hours. Uh, but that's not all. We also have an early bird offer where the Redmi Bud C Lite will be available for only 1499 for the first 48 hours after it goes on sale. So when does it go on sale? It goes on sale on 31st of July at 12 noon across me.com partner platform Amazon.in, Mi Home, and Mi Studio. So that's the Redmi Bud 3 Lite. Next, let me just quickly uh, summarize for you the Redmi K50i. It comes with the flagship MediaTek 
Dimensity 8100 processor comes with an extreme 144, 144 hertz liquid FFS display. Charging is taken care of with a 67 watt charger in the box so that you get, you get fast charging. You also get a 64 MP triple camera setup that Sandeep spoke about. And finally, it's an India 5G ready device with 12 5G bands. Now, before we jump into pricing, I just want to show you this chart, uh, which is a performance versus price chart that a lot of people look at sometimes. So if you compare, if you put performance on the x-axis and if you put price on the y-axis, you'll notice that as the performance keeps going up, uh, especially above the 700K mark, the prices go up quite significantly. So any phone that's been launched in the market with a performance of greater than 700K or 750K of onto two typically gets priced upwards of 35K. So which brings me to the question, where does K50, K50i with its onto two score of greater than 800K be priced at? Let's see how the Redmi K50i compares with some of the other devices. Uh, as you can see, we are way ahead compared to the rest of the devices in terms of performance, in terms of refresh rate, in terms of a holistic media viewing experience of Dolby Vision and Atmos experience. And the only product that comes close to this in terms of performance is the recently launched Oppo Reno8, which is priced at 4599. So what do you think the price for the Redmi K50i should be? Uh, so the price is, this is the best part about this extremely fast performer, it'll be priced at <laughs> So the base variant of the Redmi K50i, uh, which is a 6GB RAM with 128GB of storage, uh, will sell at a price of only 2599 and you have the 8 GB, 128 GB, sorry. Sorry, 8 GB RAM with 256 GB of storage at a price of only 28 triple nine. That's not all. We again have early bird offers for both our online customers and offline customers. For our online customers, the early bird offer will be up to 3,000 rupees instant bank discount on ICICI cards, plus an exchange bonus of 2,500, which means that you can actually get this device for as low as a 20 triple line price point. And a price of 23 triple line for the 8 GB, 256 GB version. So that's for our online customers, the early bird price. Um, of course, uh, you would also want to talk about K20 series, which was launched three years back. And I think it's time for a lot of those customers to upgrade given that it's been three years. The K20 users who would want to come and pick this up during the early bird period can get it for as low as 12,499. How does this work out? Your price is 25 triple nine. Your exchange offer for the K20 Pro is about 8,050 rupees plus you get an exchange bonus of 2,500 and a bank discount of about 3,000. That takes the net effective price uh, for the Redmi K50i when you exchange your older device to about 12,499. Next, for all our customers who want to pick this up from an offline store, you get a choice of two offers. You can either pick up the ICICI bank discount, uh, which is a 3,000 rupee, up to 3,000 rupee instant bank discount, or you can pick up a Xiaomi smart speaker worth 4993 along with this device. So the Redmi K50i will go on sale on 23rd of July at midnight uh, on me.com, uh, Amazon.in, retail stores, Chroma, and Me Home. Thank you. So that's it from our side. Uh, thank you so much, uh, me fans, media, partners, everyone who's come to get together for the extreme launch of the year. See you soon. Thank you.